Those two weeks, I was uh, dying, and I knew I was dying. Uh, I saw myself in a coffin. Oh, that was scary. And I would just raise my finger and says, no, I'm not gonna die. And from there on, I fought, and I got better and better. You're weak, my leg was throbbing, but the worst lingering effect I have is my breathing. If I walk from here to the corner and I come back, I gotta go to my air and put on my air because um, I get short, short breath. I, I think that people think they're gonna get COVID. Oh, don't worry, I'm gonna go to the hospital, like, like Trump. I'm gonna go to the hospital and they're gonna give me some medicines and I'll be okay. No, it did not work like that. Don't let it dominate you. Don't be afraid of it. As far as not being afraid of it is wrong. Be really afraid of COVID. Even when we get to the point where patients are no longer needing to be in isolation, uh, they continue to have symptoms. So things like cough, shortness of breath, and certainly fatigue is a big symptom that patients will continue to have. How are you doing today? I'm doing fine today. I've been taking my medication religiously. Your, your oxygen? My oxygen is good, around 96 to 98 make sure that they're getting better because a lot of them are sent out on oxygen. Uh, a lot of them will continue to take the steroid medication or other medications that they've been prescribed uh, and make sure that they don't end up back in the hospital. And uh, it was good talking to you, Michael. And, uh, Thank you. Yeah. Thank you for saving my life. Yeah, it's, uh, it's our pleasure, definitely our pleasure.